Good day, and thank you for viewing this Facilitopics module. I'm going to be speaking on career paths in facility management, providing some perspective on options where the FM industry can take the practitioners. As an introduction, I'm Stephen Brown, and I've worked in facility management for nearly 35 years, of which 25 years have been international. My roles have included facility management in general, as well as specialty focus areas. And the last six years, I've been involved with an FM consulting and training business called FM Advizo. Besides earning the alphabet soup of credentials, I've contributed to and provide training to the various organizations' credentials programs. Now, to begin, facility management has fondly been recognized as an accidental occupation for the number of different backgrounds that individuals have had coming in. For many years, the FM industry was not well recognized. And among the first of the organizations was the Plant Engineers Club, founded in 1915. For the next 70 plus years, the group remained focused on engineering before evolving into become the Association for Facilities Engineering. IFMA's founding in 1980 began a new focus toward managing the whole of the built environment. And you could say that the industry has had some identity crisis and even today, some parties still think of the function as maintenance or operations, and they don't recognize the diversity of functions that FM supports. You may recall a listing from Carolyn McGarry, the Wonder Woman of FM. She made a presentation a few months ago, and this display provides the technical and the business focus listing of facility management activities. Now, not every organization incorporates all of those elements, but the listing displayed the amazing diversity that can be included. And as FM continues to evolve, each of those are likely to expand in their awareness and function in the organization. Now, from the position of career, you can have amazing options from performing as an FM generalist to the defined focus as a technologist, perhaps responsible for the life cycle analyses of equipment assets. In addition, there's that broad realm of everything in between, including project management, construction, environmental matters, health and safety, security, contracts, real estate, risk management, leadership, and so much more. Wherever your interests lie, there's probably a dimension of facility management that's going to capture and hold your attention. Working in FM will particularly appeal to individuals with certain aptitudes and attitudes. If you take delight in helping others to succeed, or you enjoy connecting with and motivating others to achieve goals, FM is your arena. If you want to foster changes to reduce environmental impacts and to enhance efficiency, you'll find FM a superior option. Facility management is a great platform for persons who want to identify solutions that improve outcomes and deliver positive results. Now, there are some specific attributes that are truly beneficial for facility managers. A disposition to remain composed is a positive. A nature to be flexible and to embrace change ensures a level of respect as well as that flair to influence others for the benefit of the operations. The ability to forecast and recognize potential outcomes or being strategically aware. 
and having focus to be in the know about peripheral or external matters can position you for recognition and success. And cannot forget, if you have an instinctive talent with numerical calculations and analyses of facts, it absolutely prepares you to take the best decisions at the right time, again, setting a stage for success and promotion. There are different options to prepare for a career in FM. A university degree continues to carry weight with many organizations, in part from the position that the learner has experienced research, was encouraged for creative and independent thought, and may have a greater sense of achievement. A path toward typical responsibilities in the operations and maintenance side is also supported by vocational or trade schools or the guilds that provide focused training. Developing proficiencies or license in skilled trades can be a great basis to begin the practical or operational side in the industry. A great number of existing FMs have started in other positions and worked their way into and then upward through the hierarchy of the organizations. Others started with a foundation of military service that provided both skills training and then educational opportunities after their service was completed. Once you've completed and secured a position in FM, you're going to be able to show the value that you can deliver and the attitude that can enhance the FM operations. The practical experience, on-the-job training, and other in-house programs can provide great stepping stones for advancement. Watch for opportunities for general and FM-specific training and also it's great to identify successful leaders on whom you can model your performance. The FM industry opportunities are growing, and this means increased requirement for qualified FMs. Businesses recognize the value of qualified facility managers who deliver results and how that supports making the organization more competitive. These organizations also recognize the need for increased diversity in their FM teams. Another of the drivers is the fact that the exist existing FMs are aging and they're gonna need to be replaced with qualified staff. This is a global challenge. There aren't enough folks in the pipeline. For your interest, those factors result in amazing opportunities. Around the globe, this means qualified candidates are gonna be in a strong position to access positions wherever they wish and to gain positions with excellent prospects for growth, job expansion, and promotions. The opportunities are diverse and the salaries are gonna to continue to be competitive. The wage increases will result from that higher recognition of FM deliverables, as well as the incentives to recruit and retain the most qualified of the candidates. Calling back to that wide scope of FM slide a few moments ago, some of the focus areas have a special area of increased demand. On the strategic perspective, Businesses are emphasizing efforts to optimize space use and to advance productivity of the occupants. ESG initiatives, the environmental, social, and corporate governments dimensions will continue to show significant growth. From the technology perspective, the systems that enhance performance and make operations more robust will be key. IoT or Internet of Things will drive improvements in smart buildings and the facility managers are going to be called upon to leverage and analyze their data in pursuit of greater efficiencies. 
and the sustainability and wellness dimensions are going to be considered for their importance in aspects such as decreasing carbon emissions, optimizing utility efficiencies, and reducing wastes, all the while fostering operations that improve the health and the well-being of the stakeholders. To bring to a close, the global market will continue a huge demand for FM candidates who are prepared to take the roles of management and leadership. The different paths for the FM careers will continue in diversity and options for specialization. Salaries are forecast to continue the positive trend and the market is going to grow the opportunities for FMs in whatever role they wish and almost wherever they want to reside. Thanks for your attention to this Facilitopic. Facilitopics are short lessons on the facility management industry, and they're intended to give you an overview about individual topics. For more of the Facilitopics or to learn more about Facilathon, visit pi fmpipeline.org. This is Stephen Brown, and I thank you for joining me.